Hello and welcome. I'm Helen Kim, founder of Helen K Presents, and I'm here with the author and teacher Mark Matusik to talk about his upcoming workshop, The Art of Spiritual Memoir, which is taking place here in New York City on March 10th. And you can find out more details by going to our site, HelenKPresents.com, and just clicking on the Events tab. The purpose of this interview with Mark is to help give you better insight as to Mark's philosophy and a bit about his approach to teaching this workshop, The Art of Spiritual Memoir. And Mark is a highly acclaimed author of his own memoirs, including Sex, Death, Enlightenment, A True Story, which became an international bestseller, and another memoir that he wrote titled The Boy He Left Behind, A Man's Search for His Lost Father. He's also collaborated with Sagil Rampache on the Tibetan Book of Living and Dying. He's collaborated with Andrew Harvey on Dialogues with a Modern Mystic and was co-editor on Ram Dass's book Still Here. His most recent book, Ethical Wisdom, What Makes Us Good, was published last spring by Doubleday. So thank you, Mark, for taking time to talk to us a bit about this workshop. Sure, Helen. It's good to be here. I'm looking forward to it. So let's just launch into this. Tell me, what is spiritual memoir? Spiritual memoir is memoir that focuses on the interior life of the writer. Some people's memoirs focus on the situation of their life, such as I was born in Tasmania and I went up and I fell out of an airplane or you know some extreme thing that happens to them. And then there are other memoirs that focus on the inner journey and the journey of awakening. So while a spiritual memoir can contain a lot of adventure and a lot of amazing episodes, the focus is on the inner life of the person taking the journey, which is a journey of awakening. The spiritual memoir is focused on awakening of some kind. There's an illumination, there's a transformation, it focuses on epiphany. It's not that there aren't great stories, it's just that the story's purpose is to show you something really profound about the human condition that has to do with telling the truth, that has to do with authenticity, that has to do with learning to envision yourself in a new way. A lot of spiritual memoirs are people who have changed the story of their life. That's what happened with me. The reason I became a memoirist is that my life changed radically, and I needed to figure out how to redefine it and how to understand it, and so I needed to take an inner journey, and that's what my first book was about, People who write this kind of book tend to be seekers. They tend to be people who are on a path, want to investigate it more deeply. And speaking of they tend to be seekers, who would you say this workshop is for? Because I've heard you mention you don't need to have any real writing experience. No, you don't need any writing experience. What people need is curiosity. And this is a class for people who are interested in asking questions and in self-inquiry. I mean, what I've learned over a lot of years of doing this between doing spiritual practice, meditation and Buddhist practice, and doing writing practice, is that self-inquiry is the path to waking up if you're willing to keep asking the hard questions and willing to open the doors that might seem better kept closed, but which when you open them actually breathe new life into the way you see things. Mm -hmm. So it's not about being a talented writer. It's not about being a professional writer. It's about being somebody who is sincere and dedicated to the process of self-discovery. So you don't get into things like grammar and all that. That's really secondary for you. What I always say to people is that technique is something that you can teach fairly easily. Mm -hmm. You know, what's an adverb? Where do you put a semicolon? But what you Mm -hmm. can teach people is insight. Insight is something that you have to have in your life and then learn how to translate into writing if you want to be a memoirist. My focus tends to be on helping people have the insight that leads to being able to write a good book rather than focusing on paragraphs and sentence structure in the beginning. That's just less interesting to me, and it tends to lead to less juicy work. I mean, the juiciest work comes from depth and vividness and surprise, and that Mm -hmm. comes from people going for it. That's the kind of attitude that people tend to have in these workshops, and that's what makes them so exciting is that the joined energy of a group of people focused on pushing the envelope together in an atmosphere of safety, confidentiality, comfort, and non-aggression. I mean, there's not a critical attitude. It leads to some incredible experiences, amazing group dynamics that people say afterwards are transformative. I have seen people literally change their lives, not just because of this workshop, but because of some realization that came out of the process of the workshop. That's why I do it. That's why I love doing it, and it makes it exciting for me. 
it must be that sitting in a room, though, with your own thoughts can be kind of overwhelming. And so I'm assuming that you address all of that that comes with the actual process of writing, you know, all the self-limiting talk and all of that stuff that comes up. Oh, absolutely. I mean, one of the exercises we do is all about demons and fear mm-hmm. and desire and how fear and desire play out together and why it is that when we are alone and facing ourselves, it can be so unbearable. There is nothing more challenging than being alone by yourself in a room. It is also, for a writer, the most exhilarating thing because it's like the doorway to the experience that you want to have, but it's not easy. So, yeah, sure, we definitely talk about the challenges of writing, how do you work on a long-term project, and how do you deal with the editor, the voice of the oppressor within. You know, Annie Lamarck mm. says the perfectionism is the voice of the oppressor. We all deal with these oppressive voices all the time that are trying to either distract us or tell us that what we're doing isn't worth it, that we'd be a lot better off, you know, eating, drinking a latte at Starbucks and reading the paper. I know you've taught this course for maybe a few years now, but how have you seen this? You mentioned before it's really changed the way participants have moved through their lives. Can you give us just a couple of examples? Absolutely. I mean, I have one student who, when I met her, was an unhappy, borderline alcoholic, middle-aged woman living in a gay relationship that she didn't like or understand with a woman that she wasn't in love with. And by the time we finished the course, or this was a five-week version of the spiritual memoir course, she was dating a man who she was really into, was going to AA, and her writing had gotten really powerful. In the beginning, she seemed kind of muted and depressed, but by the end, she was writing these really powerful essays. And it was just because she came to this work just at the moment when she was ready to make a change. And I don't think there are accidents in life. I think we're magnetized to certain people and experiences for certain reasons. And I think when she saw the description of this course, she thought, oh, that's for me. I'm ready for that. And boy, she just took the ball and ran with it. And she's now still with this guy, still sober. And I get emails from her just saying how fondly she remembers that time because it came just at the right moment for her. So people have different experiences. I've known people who have left their careers. I've known people who have started and finished and published books that were germinated Look, learning is a good thing, and the more intensely we learn, the more rich our lives become. So this is a step in that direction. It's a step into that zone of pushing beyond what we know about ourselves. Mm -hmm. Looking over the edge, saying, hmm, is there something over there I haven't seen before, and are there parts of myself that I haven't been willing to explore before and, you know, maybe bring into my life? It's a combination of writing in the actual workshop and discussion is what it sounds like, and all of this gives you the ability to go sort of underneath the surface of things. Yeah, I mean, I start with a talk about what spiritual memoir is and how it differs from, quote, unquote, ordinary memoir and what people can expect. Then we do an exercise, which is a very deep and powerful exercise. Most of the writing periods are no more than 45 minutes each. And there's one-on-one sharing, and then there's group sharing. It's designed to take people deeper and deeper. I want it to combine intense personal exploration with pleasure. I mean, the pleasure of being in a group of people asking questions. So I want there to be enough time for people to get to know one another, uh, form bonds with each other, support each other, which happens a lot. It's extraordinary how often people with similar life situations come to a workshop like this and end up bonding. It's an introspective social experience. And some of the bonds made when you're experiencing those sorts of transformations are forever, really. I mean, so many friends that way and similar kinds of experiences. Well, this is coming up very soon on March 10th. And is there anything else that you'd like to share? I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I've never given one of these workshops that it didn't surprise me and that amazing things didn't come out of it. They're not always the things you expect. And often there are things that are more interesting. I look forward to seeing people. I can only take a limited number of people, so I hope that people sign up early. We will have a rich and wise and beautiful experience together. I just want everyone to know if they want to find out more about the workshop to go to Helen K. Presents. 
com. That's Helen K, as in the initial K, presents.com, and click under events. The title of the workshop is The Art of Spiritual Memoir, which you'll see right there. It's happening on March 10th. Uh, it starts at 10 a.m., and it goes till 5. I'm going to be there myself, so I look forward to seeing you there. And thank you, Mark. Thank you, Helen. It's great to talk to you. Mark. Thank you, Helen. It's great.